Hello everybody, um, today what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be editing and talking about raw images uh, using Olympus Viewer 2. So, um, let me minimize this. Oh, first off I need to put it on desktop share, so let me go to show original video share. So, um, and so what is raw images? What exactly is a raw image? Well, a raw image is a uncompressed file format. A raw image is a uncompressed image. Um, it has every single color that the camera can uh, actually uh, make um, or produce or whatever. And um, you can do a whole lot of stuff with it. So, um, like, uh, what exactly? Like, what exactly does a raw image have in it, though? So, like, in the, uh, uh, like, uh, properties portion, I feel the is coming, but, um, anyways, with the stuff, it actually has, um, every single thing in it that you can ever even imagine. So, like, um, Shooting date, 3-9-2012, format Olympus, file size, 14.30 megabytes. That's the only, that's the only drawback, or not exactly only drawback of raw format, raw files, but, um, they take up a lot of space. So, um, but what makes it, what makes it so distinct between JPEG, you know, JPEG, and, uh, like JPEG and, uh, what is it, uh, TIFF, or PNG images. Well, raw data is usually, uh, 16 bits or more. Is a 16-bit image or more, which, um, actually, when you think about it, the total, the total amount of colors in a, uh, raw image can be, 23,000 some, not 23,000, but uh, 23 trillion something colors. So, um, and then compared to a JPEG image, a JPEG image only displays 16.7 million. So, um, raw images are much, much easier. Raw images have lots more colors to work with, and um, one of the things about raw images is that you can convert them to JPEG or TIFF or whatever file format you want, but you can't do the same with JPEG. You can't convert JPEG or TIFF to a raw image because of the fact that the raw image is only something straight from the camera. And uh, when you think about it with raw images, you can't not, but you can't they're not necessarily designed to be viewed, especially in things like web browsers and stuff. But you can mainly edit them. So, um, so, if, so, but the problem is, you know, um, my camera does not shoot raw images. So how did I get these then? Straight off the internet. Um, I can't remember exactly what website, um, I had like what website I got it from but I'll put it down in the uh, I'll put a link down in the uh, thing and beware every camera manufacturer has their own specified file type for uh, raw formats so that means that you can't edit a raw image like an Olympus raw image in a Canon software neither can you do the opposite and then same thing with Nikon and Canon so um, let's try, so let's see what you can do with raw images. So like, for example, um, let me go to edit. Wait, hold up. Um, I'll actually start off with this image here. So edit, open raw development window. Then it says, when the raw development window is closed, any changes to the raw settings will be discarded. So, um, 
Hold on. I'm going to blow my nose real quick. <laughs> so, like I said, what does make a raw image so different? Well, for one thing, in editing, you can, like, like when taking a picture, you can get every single setting mid, you can practically get, yeah, that's the computer, damn, but you can practically get every setting wrong, and you can be able to correct it very, you can be able to correct it in a uh, thing, so, let's see here. The exposure compensation, I'll stick to negative 2.0. And notice on how it preserves a lot of detail. So you can't tell that right now because actually the thing is loading in. That, that is actually with the microphone that I've got it on is the internal mic, which is actually from the laptop itself. So you're going to hear a long laptop noise. So, um, especially, uh, Especially the hard drive, whatever, you know. So there we go. And then, like, let's say I go to edit, revert raw development settings. Let's wait for it to load in. Or, wait a minute, I think there is... Um, I wouldn't be able to do, like, a... Uh, uh, Comparison type thing. I don't think. Let me check. Oh, duh! I need to hit that. Oh, never mind. So notice on how the thing came out better in the negative 2.0 uh, exposure. So um. So like also on top of that, you can you can apply. Uh, filters, you know, like art filters that are in the camera itself in pictures. So like for example, um, this is a standard picture. Here, let me take a thumbnail and then, um, let's see, I don't know, yeah, the status bar isn't there. So like I can go to art filter. The art filter will show the filters that, are, that were in the camera. So yes, raw images do provide a heck of a lot more stuff than what a uh, JPEG than what a JPEG image does. So let me go to Pop Art and see on that how it does. Now notice on it how the image appears much much more vivid and probably a little bit more correct because it actually seems to make it. And sorry for the uh, uh, crappy pixelation, but that's going to be normal for uh, the moment. As you can probably tell, I don't know if you're able to see very well, but it says updating 25%. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, like I said, you can do a hell of a lot more with raw images. So don't don't get this wrong. I am not completely experienced in raw images. I have only been I've only been doing this for the past few days. So um I've only been editing raw images for the past few days, trying to figure out how uh to do this video. So um I can go to edit, revert raw development settings and then, um, like, let's see, the settings, false. I can even, you can even do a distortion correction, which every camera lens does have some level of distortion. And why? It's because the lens is curved, it's not flat. So, um, Look very carefully at this image. When I hit the apply, you'll notice. You may, if you're looking carefully, you'll notice the distortion is being taken off. See that? Then I can take the distortion correction off. Aberration compensation is 
I'm not sure exactly what the aberration is. I think it has to do with, uh, uh, what is it? Um, I don't know, like, something about, like, like, uh, like, edges, like, sharp edges or whatever, you know? I don't know. But, um, shading compensation. Let me try applying shading compensation, see what it, okay, so, um, it doesn't, so it, so the camera wouldn't have, uh, put in shading compensation either. So everything, so that's one thing that I like about raw images, you can actually, uh, get every single setting wrong, practically, except ISO, I'm sure, and you will s like, you can goof around, like, let's say, at a wedding photo, you can make the bride's, you can make the bride look like a fucking ball or something, you know, like, because, just, like a fucking white ball or something, you know, because way too much exposure. I'm sorry for the language there, but, um, but anyways, um, like, and then you can still correct the exposure on that. I don't know where she, I don't know where the uh, exposure is totally correct. I mean, it looks perfect. So, um, let me see how much time has passed. So it's 11 minutes. I'm going to try to make it about 15 minutes. So, um, I'm seriously starting to consider though my camera does not shoot in RAW, if I were to get a camera that does shoot in RAW, for me to be shooting in RAW at the same time as maybe JPEG. So that way I can have a JPEG thing as well as a RAW format. So, like, let's say this thing here. Notice only how the rice just doesn't look great. Let me go to the, oh yeah, duh. So edit, open raw development window. Okay. So let's see here, basic, art filter, no filter. Um, let's see, what would be a better thing? No. How about pop art? Make the rice stand out. Now that looks like, now that looks like a professional uh, shot of food. I'm pretty sure. Kind of. I don't know. But also, the exposure is a little high. So actually, the exposure will need to be at I would think. Let's see, 0 0.3. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. So, edit, revert raw development settings. So, by the way, um, since this thing's getting close to 15 minutes, um, you can barely see the time right there. So, um, keep in mind, you can check out my channel if you want. Um, like, uh, if you have trouble trying to find my channel, if you watch one of my videos but don't know where my channel is, uh, go type in Robert Lucas, and then go to the filters portion up near the top left, and then go to where it says channel, click on it, and then I should be up at the top, somewhere around the top. So um, keep that in mind. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead. Um, also, if you like my video, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, like, uh, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment, you know? Um, just make sure you're making enough sense on where I can be able to understand what you're trying to say, you know? Because I had a problem with that. I mean, there was this one person that commented something on a word like, totally did not make sense. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Um, if you guys don't like the video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. So, see you later. Peace out.